So I've lost a sense of self. Sense of time, sense of surroundings. I've lost a lot of things. I'm sitting here and I almost feel like I'm a vegetable. Seriously. I almost feel like I'm a fucking vegetable. It's like it doesn't, I mean, it feels like brain fog, but it doesn't feel like brain fog. It just feels like the functioning of my brain. It's just so out of here. I mean, like, two more clicks. And it's, I'm just staring off into space. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's... I don't know. I just know the PET scan that I had was really bad. The EEGs showed that my brain waves are abnormal. Um, psychological test. You know, if you're if you're not trying to be to be one-sided biased, showed that I had moderate severe cognitive impairments. It's almost like I'm just sitting out here, just staring off into space, essentially. <sighs> like, I feel, I feel almost gone. I mean, I'm sure it's like some type of toxic metabolic issue going on, but I don't know. I'm just not here, man. I'm getting worse and worse and worse. Like, everything is just like, I don't know how to describe it. It's like one big fucking blackout. And I'm trying to like focus as much as I can. I mean, that's almost like that's almost what it feels like. If I if I feel like I'm in my own little world, like kind of like zoned out, like hardcore. And everything else is just kind of, it's here, but it's like I can't pay attention to anything. You know? I don't know if that makes sense or not, but it's like I'm here, I'm looking at stuff, but my mind is just, I feel like it's gone. Or two clicks to gone. I've been in fogs before, pretty bad fogs, um, but, you know, like, I don't know if you've ever get stoned or took too much, um, um, Benadryl or whatever, but you just, you can't function, you know, it's just like you're, you're so... You're so out of it, you just can't function. You can't pay attention at all. That's what I feel like right now. Like I feel like I can't pay hardly any attention. Like 10 being perfect. Not many people get to 10. But 10, clarity. I feel like I'm a, a 2 or a 3.
you know, and then say a one is you're pretty much comatose, probably. And a zero, you're just you're gone, you're brain dead. I mean, I feel like I don't want to get out of this chair right now. Because I feel like my mind is so spun out. You know? It's so spun out. But apparently, doctors will tell you, oh, it's just anxiety, it's just depression. Dude, this is not fucking depression, man. I mean, you guys got all the damn... test that shows that I have severe issues going on and you just try to blow it off like it's nothing. Oh, here, take a antidepressant. You know, I made like a, almost a two hour um, video earlier, but unfortunately it doesn't um, tag off, it doesn't, um, the video keeps going and going. So there's not enough uh, uh, memory space, you know, it uh, corrupts the, the video when you try to put it on YouTube. And it won't do it because it'll just say corrupted or whatever. Missing file or whatever. But yeah, I was having all kinds of different issues today. It is kind of like spacing out. Like when you're just like... You know, for long periods of time, you just kind of like really feel really 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 spaced out almost like you have no attention span oh wow that's exactly what it feels like so I've kind of had this before not as bad but see this you know I think when I was a kid I used to like I always had a fear of turning into a vegetable I don't know if that was like when I first got sick and I was thinking of this or, I don't know, because I've seen movies where people are in the hospitals and they're just vegetables, man. You know, like uh, the, the nut house where they're just, they stare out the window. It's like, they're there, but they're not there. You know, and some people, they don't even move. Sometimes, well, I, I guess. I mean, just think about that. Where you couldn't even move, like... I mean, obviously, you're standing up. Well, I mean, some people probably can't even do that, to be honest. But just sitting out, out your door, uh, looking out the window. You know? Just like this. That's it, because your brain is so fucking fried. You know, I've lost pretty much everything. I don't drive, because I don't have a vehicle. I can't get a license, a full license. I got a permit, but that's it. I think we got some sun a little bit here. But, um... Oh, wow, really? Um... I can't really do much. Like, I can't drink sodas. I can't drink tea. I can't even drink lemon water. You know, like, a few years ago... At least three years ago, dude. Three, four years ago, I'd be drinking beer and, you know, barbecuing. 
I say that because there's people drinking beer and barbecue right now. You know, smoking some cigarettes, drinking some soda, or whatever. I can't do that anymore. Regardless if it's bad or not, I, I just can't do it. Which is weird. I smoke a black and I get severely lightheaded. Like, instantaneously, within like a few minutes. I think I'm gonna try to, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I wanna to try to cook either one. Did I even, I thought I had one. Huh. No, I was just thinking about, um, maybe it was somebody else's, but I thought I had one. You know, like those little, uh, turkey crock pots or whatever. You know, it's kind of like blue with the, the white specks on it. You know, you put your turkey or whatever and you, you put it in the, um, the oven. I mean, I have either there's smoke or my eyes are getting like blurry. Must be smoke. But I, I do have a crock pot. That's what I need to do, is I need to go... Because I have like, um... Fajitas and stuff. I guess I could put fajitas in the crock pot, right? I don't know how to cook it, but... I mean, there's YouTube, right? I got some potatoes, too. Some potatoes, tomatoes. <laughs> oh. I need some... Like, uh, some carrots. I had carrots, but I threw them away. I want to make, like, uh, some type of mini dip. I mean, I, I guess. I mean, it's not like brisket, though. That's the thing. I mean, I guess you could probably do it. I guess. I wonder. I've never really tried that before. I mean, I guess I could brown it up, right? And then just put it in there. I don't know. I've never tried that. I don't know if it would screw it up or not. That'd be pretty fucking awesome, though. I've never really thought about it, but making like a pot roast with that fajita meat. I don't know, like I haven't I haven't made a pot roast in a while. Pot roast is too fucking it. Pot roast cost to make it cost about uh, I would say well it depends. Um it actually does depend. But a pot roast can cost about Total of fifteen dollars to make, and really the most expensive thing is the meat. But you usually want a pound of meat, you know. And um, whatever, and then I mean your vegetables. Could, well, I mean if well, I don't know. I mean your vegetables. It depends the way they're bought, you know. I mean, sometimes buying them singularly can actually cost more. But buying them in a bag, I mean, buying them in a bag, yeah, it costs more, but you have more, right? But I almost want to make a pot roast. That shit takes, that shit takes hours, bro. And actually, if you really want good pot roast, 
it's the next day pot roast that tastes the best. Like when you first make pot roast, well, depending. I mean, it could take, I guess it could take probably four to eight hours, but, you know, if you really want good pot roast, you put it on slow for about eight hours and then, um, you know, I mean, I guess you could eat some, but, uh, but if you save it until the next day, you know, like, just put it on low or something, yeah, that shit tastes good, bro, you know, because everything is, you know, marinated and whatever, everything is soft, but yeah, one of the reasons I say it's so expensive, it costs about 12 15 bucks, is because you only get five servings. So, that's why it's so expensive. But it's so damn good, bro. Like, I make some bomb diggity classic pot roast. But, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, my mind is so screwed up, though. Like, and then my health issues, and then I gotta, I gotta come in here and I gotta clean because my, uh, I'm going to have an inspection in a few days, Monday. So it's Saturday now, so, and I got so much to do. But I would love that though, dude. You know what I would love is, I'm going to see if I can, I don't know if you can use fajita meat. I mean, I guess you possibly could, right? But I don't have everything either. I have the, the potatoes. Um, but I don't know if I have the other stuff and that would require a uh, trip to the store. Um, yeah, that would require, yeah, in about 15 bucks, which I don't really have. I don't know, I'll probably just get like a, a glass, uh, use a casserole dish or whatever. And probably just, um, I don't know. Because like I said, I want to... I mean, I guess you could. Because the pot roast um, bowl, or whatever you call it, I guess you could put that in the, uh, the oven. I don't know. Just put that in the oven and cover it up. So, you know, kind of self, uh, I could have swore I had something like that, though. Maybe my, my dad did or something. Family member or something, but that would actually be cool. You know, I could have swore I did. I mean, I didn't cook chickens or anything, but... God, you know what? I would love to cook some chicken right now. That sounds so savage, doesn't it? I don't know, I just, I've noticed the older that I get, the more I've been in the city, I'm, I'm just more, uh, I care more about animals. Even though I'm talking about cooking up some fajita. Where do you think fajita comes from, buddy? <laughs> but, I just, dude, I, I wish I had some money. Buy me a woman um, that knows how to cook. That would be, that would be what's up, but, no, I was just kind of thinking, because I was like, I think in 2016, I think it was January, I was like 218, right, and now, I took my stuff yesterday, which today is technically, um, the 4th of August, 2018, and I was, even back then, I would go back a few more years, you know, I don't eat normal, like, I don't, I don't have that three meals a day. I don't have people cooking for me and I don't cook like that. So, um, I mean, that could be another reason. I mean, you're not, I mean, my body is really probably skinny to be honest, you know, but because I don't eat, um, it just, it stores the fat. It slows the metabolism down. So, but yeah, I, I went from like two, no, actually, I wasn't 218. I mean, I was at one time, but I think it was like um, 204. 
to uh, 184. So, you know, I've lost a lot of weight. Which is good, I guess. You know. To a point. I mean, it's kind of been slow, to be honest. It's been real slow. Which I guess is good, but, you know, I don't know. Yeah, one thing that I've noticed, though, for the most part, is when I go and I do, like, exercises or whatever, I've noticed I get very, very fatigued. But when I go in the pool, I feel a little fatigued. A tad. But I did a lot of exercises today. Well, not a lot, but when I was in the pool, you know, I like, I like to try to move around when I'm in the pool. So, and I can feel it. But I feel like if I did it just like, you know, flexed or whatever, inside inside here or whatever, I'd be like, oh my God, I'm dying, bro. Like, I, I feel bad right now. Um, but it doesn't feel as bad as, you know, I think that water does help. You know? So... We'll see. I gotta get off this thing. I gotta try to figure out what I gotta do. Oh, I'm gonna eat. Because I haven't eaten anything yet and it's already uh, 7.55. The only thing I've put in my mouth today is some water and one of those uh, those mints. Um, those, uh, what's those candies called? The red candies? I don't know. You know, you can get out to uh, Sonic's. Peppermint. Oh wow, that was like a dry um That was like dry bro. When I that did the swallowing. Oh wow. But yeah, I got so much shit to do, man. I just, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just all over the place, man. Hey, hey. I don't know who he was talking to. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. I gotta just, I gotta, I don't know, like, I just feel like I have no, you know, no wonder I don't have any freaking, like, it's not that I don't have ambitions, I have tons of ambitions and goals, but, like, bro, like, I don't, my mind is so fucked up, I don't do anything, you know, I'm, I got so many health issues, I don't do anything, which even makes it even worse. You know, I've been thinking about playing pool a lot lately, right? You know, I got a feeling you want to be good in the back for that. I don't know. A lot of people are always, you know, leaning over. So just like I bought a, a dart board, you're just like, boing, boing, ping. You know, that's like a lot of that movement, right? And I know I need to exercise or at least stretch. You know. But anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna get off of this. My um, my balcony is kind of I kind of got some shit on here, so my um, um, little closet is um, I mean it's all clean. It's just I got a lot of shit in there. So I don't know what I want to do though. You know, you know, the fucked up thing is, is I was like, you know what, I'm going to invest in um, electro, electro uh, well, that too, but uh, construction tools and all that shit. I'm just like, bro, I can't even use any of that. You know, I go outside and I got all these health issues. Just think. I mean, I remember years ago, dude. You know, probably 2013, 14 or something. 
I used to live on the other side of town, you know, on the other side of Fortin. And, um, that's <laughs> funny. Um, and I would notice, like, my vitals were like 120 over like 90 something or 129 over like 90 something my pulse was like over 130 well you're just having anxiety and it was weird because where I used to live there's a hill it's about like 4 minute hill you gotta go up you know and um, it's crazy, man. But I just think, like, years prior, I went up there one time, you know, to see a homeboy. And I had no problem going up there. I don't know. turning into a damn vegetable dude I can feel it like I'm thinking about the, and the, the more that I think about stuff you know I just feel more of a vegetable because I'm just kind of like having this realization like whoa what the fuck dude yeah it's starting to get dark earlier I mean what a few days ago the sun was still up at 8.30 on 8 o'clock now so, I don't know. It's pretty. That's for sure. It's pretty out here. I mean, to the best of my ability to actually notice. Yeah, my um, overall shit's just fucked up, dude. It's just fucked up. I just don't know what I'm going to do. It's a lot cooler though, that's for sure. There's a hundred degrees up in this mofo today. Um, it's probably at least, I don't know, it's like probably low 90s. That's what it feels like. It doesn't feel that hot. But then again, I was in the pool earlier too, so. And I'm still wearing wet clothes. Well, this is dry. My shorts are wet though. Um, You know, the way that I feel right now, I'm wondering how my mind is going to be able to react when I start going back, when I go back inside my apartment. Like, I feel like, I practically feel blank, dude. Like, visually I can see, but like, mentally, like, my mind is just, I feel like I'm not there. I mean, yeah, I'll go into my apartment and whatever, but trying to process that it's going to be very difficult like to be honest I feel like not even moving dude I don't want to go back inside dude I don't but I can't stay out here I gotta go inside sometime Gotta go inside sometime. Anyways, I think I'm gonna get back to work and try to deal with that issue that I'm having. Maybe I just need some food. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. And I can't even eat vegetables anymore. Like potatoes, I start like getting really clammy. I don't know, I got some hamburger meat, but I don't have any bread or anything. Might just have some spaghetti with hamburger meat. I don't know. I'm just... I don't know. <sighs> my God, my God. Yep, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. All right, peace.